You may have seen or heard about six string binders, or you might have even Googled or YouTubed how to start or how to deco a six string binder, but you're still confused on what the step by step process is. Well, in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys my five easy steps on how to deco a six string binder. So I hope you guys enjoy and let's get started. The first easy step that I have for you guys is to pick a theme. So this involves a two part process. So first you want to narrow down what is the overall look or feeling that you're going for. Is it a galaxy theme? Is it a floral theme? Is it a rainbows and butterflies theme? Really think about the overall theme that you want your six string binder cover to have. And then you also want to pick a color scheme. So y'all already know I love my rainbows. So typicamente I'm just going to do all rainbow however you guys can decide do you want to stick with warmer colors so reds oranges yellows or do you want to stick with the cooler tones more greens purples and blues so try to figure out for this first step what is your overall theme for your 16 binder deco for example for my a5 binder I went with more of a mix between the two color schemes and then for the overall theme I just went with a bright happy fun theme so you're gonna see a lot of shades you're going to see a lot of colors you're going to see a lot of food type of items so that's just to give you guys an example for my a5 binder and then for my a6 binder I went with more of a retro theme and I tried to stick with cooler tones such as blues and purples so you guys can decide for yourselves what theme you really want to go for and don't be afraid to see what other people have done trying to get some inspo and some ideas from other people it is vile y'all ain't gonna tell nobody okay so the second thing that you guys want to do when decoing your six string binder is to decide your title. Now this part is completely optional y'all so no pressure here. However, you can think of either a quote that you want to be the main focal point of the first cover page on your six string binder or you could just use your name like that's easy peasy right so there's no right or wrong way when it comes to this section if you even decide to do it so no pressure y'all just whatever you feel is best for you so for my a5 six string binder i ended up using my name kind of like as a title for it um and i also had a focal point of using a polko which is basically a diy polaroid and then for my a6 six string binder i ended up using a quote so either option is fine kittens it literally depends on what you would like and what you're most comfortable with so the third easy step is gather your supplies so this includes everything that you want to use to deco your six string binder so we talking about stickers washi tape markers any picks or bulcos that you want to use any papers that you want to use keychains whatever supplies or materials that you want to incorporate onto your six string binder cover page be sure to grab those kittens so the fourth easy step on how to deco a six string binder is to decide your layout so this can be done in a few different ways for one you could start by either drawing it on a piece of paper it could be scrap paper y'all and your bullet journal and your six string binder whatever you got y'all just try and draw out how you want your layout to look or you could go the digital route and use apps such as Procreate or Canva. So I've actually even tried drawing it out on paper and also digitally. So it's really up to you guys, whichever way that you prefer. By the way, kittens, let me know down in the comments below if you guys have already decoed a six ring binder or you plan to do so in the future. Actually just seeing how you want things to lay out will save you so much time and so much stress later. So decide how you want to lay out all of the items that you want to use in your six string binder cover. So the fifth step on how I deco my six string binders is to just go ahead and start and get creative. So it is finally time to deco your six ring binder. Keep in mind all of the steps I mentioned previously will be incorporated into this step. You want to be sure you already have your theme in place. You want to make sure you have all the colors that you want to use. You've gathered your supplies. You decided if you wanted a title or not and you have your layout. So just be sure all of those things are together and ready to go and just have fun and enjoy your process in decoing your six ring binder. If you have a binder that you want to put stickers on the actual cover of the binder, feel free to do that. If you want to add a keychain, feel free to do that. If you want just 
stickers, if you want pictures, if you want to leave the cover of your six string binder blank, that is F I N E with me kittens. If you like it, I love it y'all. So I really hope this video helped you guys to understand my step by step process that you guys can follow on how to deco a six string binder. And if you guys want any inspo from any of my other six string binder videos, be sure to check out my six string binder playlist. Thank you guys so much for watching and I love you all. Adios kittens.